Hi, today I'm going to be going over Ellen Villa's music, and this is in the color Light Bernstein Rooted. You'd like to see that? Stick around. <laughs> Alright, so back to it. So, as the first disclaimer, I was sent to this beautiful wig. This is Ellen Villa Music in the color Light Bernstein Rooted by Shirley at Shirley's Wig Shop. So, this is this very beautiful, it's, oh, it's stunning. This is my first ever Ellen Villa wig, and all I can say is just wow like honestly like I took it out of the box and I was like the color is just amazing the fibers are so gorgeous and soft and it's just I mean this this is literally like out the box I haven't done anything to it besides break up the part and so I mean the part is just fantastic the lace front is just you see it right <laughs> and so I mean this just style too and the color is so natural looking like sometimes you get like wig colors and they're I mean they're synthetic and um they're just you know they're not great but this is just amazing like right like okay so let's look under here shall we All right, so this is completely encased. It's in like, it's wefted and it's closed off. So there's no um, hairs that'll poke through, which is fantastic. This has the extended lace front from ear to ear and it's got a left-sided monofilament lace part. This is also hand tied right here. You can see the double, the double layer here. Let me just pull this part down. See, you can see layer here and say the dogs of course so it's got a um, velvet nape and you've got the velcro adjusters you've got the velvet ear tabs that are bendable and I'll just show you how easy this is to put on I mean Honestly, like, I literally, there's a mirror right here, so, like, it's just so stunning. And what I like about these fibers, too, and the way that this cap is constructed, is that there is amazing coverage here. Like, you can see how far down it comes down. Like, here's my ear. And here's where my temple hairs begin. It covers my temple hairs completely, so it looks very natural. So you could literally pull it back and just have like an updo, half up, half down, you know? And so, I mean, you throw it on, you do the flip, and all of a sudden you've got these gorgeous like blowout salon ready like waves. It's so nice. <laughs> That's all I have to say. Like, this is fantastic. Okay. So... The fibers do tangle a little, that's what I've noticed, but I mean, it's a long synthetic wig, and that does happen, but it's very easy to just kind of work my hands through, no problem at all, it's not like super bad. I haven't had an enormous amount of shedding from it at all while getting it out of the box or anything. Um, the other thing that I found was interesting about this cap in comparison to other ones that I've dealt with is it, it, it feels very um, snug from from hairline to nape. Um, I noticed that. Um, there, I have a little bit of bunching right here and right here, which kind of, if I move it around, I can get it to kind of go away. So that's pretty easy. It's not as big as like, um, I've had issues with the hand tied Raquel Welsh's even being super big where they bunch like right here on me for some reason. It's always like right here is where bunching on wigs happens. Not quite sure what that was supposed to mean, but here we are. All right, so let me just take this off one more time because I'm gonna go over the color a little bit because it's it's really, really stunning. I'm just gonna kind of brush this real quick. It 
it really detangles very easily also. All right, so this color is, is gorgeous, like honestly, like, and the style too. So when I first took it out, it kind of reminded me of the Trezalor Sensational, and I did take it out and compare them side by side, which I guess, maybe I'll do that because I'm still really standing right here with it. It was specifically the 1426 R10 reminded me of this color at first. And I'll show you here, but you can see this one is actually darker and this one is lighter. The style is similar. However, um, this one has much more density to it. You can see how they both kind of hold themselves in the same sort of like tapered away from the face and then it swoops down for the longer back piece. And you can see they both have, I don't have my hand in it the same way. Yeah, I mean, I can tell just by looking at it. They're both rooted, both rooted here. And as you can see, this one is significantly blonder than this one. I think this is a gorgeous color. This one looks extremely natural. I mean, they both look natural, but there's just something about this color that I find actually looks even more natural than the Trezalor. And I think it has to do with the fact that these this like nape area, the longer underneath pieces that come through down here are darker than the lighter pieces, like the way um, natural sun bleaching would happen with people of European descent, if you will. So I have that where um, if I go go outside, I used to say, should, <laughs> I used to have that, I should say, where I would have where my uh, hair would bleach in the sun, just just as is. I always have lighter hair in the summer, and then fall would start and it darken back up again. So here's this. That's such. I can't stop looking at it. <laughs> it's so pretty. Okay, so tell me what you think. Bye.